I'm Tyson Reddy. I'm the founder of Braille Mountain Initiative, and I'm here at Heather Mountain Lodge to participate in the Great Canadian Heli Skiing Challenge. The Great Canadian Heli Skiing Challenge is a first of its kind fundraiser where myself and one other blind skier um, attempted to ski 25,000 vertical feet in a single day with all the funds going towards our future backcountry trips for blind athletes. We started early today and uh, I was definitely nervous. I mean, skied all my life, but never heli skied. And, uh, you know, with the vision loss, it's uh, always the first time doing something is very nerve wracking because you just do not know what you do not know. But we got up, we did the avalanche training uh, with Ken. That went extremely well. We found uh, the bag, so that uh, that was great. And then we did the helicopter briefing, showed us how to get in and out and what would happen with the helicopter coming in and landing because we, we had the helicopter the entire day. And then we got off and it was, it was so smooth. Uh, it was just, it was magical uh, to get up there. Helicopter first drops us off, I'm super nervous. I'm like, oh my God, like we're up at 9,000 feet. How's the snow gonna be, the weather? Uh, we strap on the skis, do the first run and it's just beautiful. Like just, whoa, man, this is, these are nice snow conditions. Uh, so we did 12 quick runs on the Twilight Glacier uh, fantastic run and you know blind skiing you want to repeat it because every run is new uh, so that was awesome and then mother nature started to have her way it rolled in and the bad weather happened and we had to get out of there fast uh, so we went down to lower elevation uh, which was a lot crustier certainly um, more challenging terrain I uh, had lunch at the bottom there in the trees. I believe that was the bottom of Rocky Run. And then at that point, uh, we were looking for our next runs, but it just, the weather just got too bad. And they had to call it because of the ice accumulation on the uh, rotors and the windshield. And so we came back and uh, yeah, it's just an amazing day. My name is Ken McDermott, and I was fortunate enough to guide the Braille Mountain Initiative Heli Ski Fundraiser for Great Canadian Heli Skiing. We were fortunate, uh, Yarrow and I were guiding together, and so I think two guides and one great photographer and two athletes is a, a good ratio. You know, in terms of the safety briefings we did, we uh, actually went through all the normal things, but just talked about some ways to cope with it with their blindness. So managing the transceiver uh, in an audio mode, discussing how we would work together around the aircraft when the noise is high. And we kind of talked about physically touching them and helping them a bit around that. On the hill, you might think it'd be the most you need to do, but actually there's so, such good skiers it wasn't the biggest adaptation. We, you know, maybe make a little more noise. Sometimes I guided them by going right in front of them so they could see the shadow of me. I thought the adaptation was pretty quick. We were rocking and rolling pretty fast. Um, we'd really like to thank everybody at Great Canadian Heli Skiing for putting this on for us. It was an incredible day for both myself and Mark. And um, the funds we raised will go a long ways towards ensuring that Braille Mountain Initiative can continue to provide um, unique and exciting opportunities for blind athletes that previously hadn't been available to them. As well as I'd like to think that everything we do at Braille Mountain Initiative um, helps sort of shift the perception of the abilities of the blind and visually impaired. Um, every day we go into the mountains we're doing things that uh, often people wouldn't have thought would be uh, possible for, for the blind and visually impaired. So um, I think that's an important uh, component of, of what we do and an important component of what we did here today thanks to Great Canadian. Maybe this program shows people that the backcountry or helicopter skiing isn't just extreme or exclusive, that there's uh, room for just amazing access to great mountains, great snow, and uh, old or young, blind or not, you can have a great time out there.
I could just feel these emotions coming up in my body. And I was just, just about to start crying because it's just like, it's amazing when you want something so bad for so long and then when it arrives, it's impossible to believe you're doing it. Like it just, it just all came together. I'm just like, whoa, man, what an event. <laughs>